everyone, it's Gabrielle Ruiz. I'm an actor, arts educator, and first time working mom. I decided to be a part of the YouTube community of mommy vloggers. Shout out to you if you ever wanted one. Also to Veronica, that's my cat. Shout out also, thank you for watching this video. You can like, you can subscribe, you can move on, whatever you want, because I just want to pay it forward and represent all of the moms that helped me during my pandemic isolated pregnancy um, when I had no one to engage with or no one to like observe on how they're doing it versus like my friends or my family on Zoom. It was the YouTube mommy vloggers that really, really gave me a glimpse to just have an idea of what to expect and then take what I learned um, or what I saw and what I liked or didn't like, I was able to implement that to myself. So I really just was so inspired by so many women and I wanted to share the YouTube mommy vloggers that inspired me and who I followed during my pandemic pregnancy. Now, why am I doing this? Because again, paying it forward, sharing, and also publicly thanking these women and these people and their teams probably, whether it be just solo camera or a light thing or a, or a partner or a husband, whoever it was, I just wanna say thank you for being a part of my life while I was pregnant and further on now I am just like an avid YouTube watcher. It's like the Truman Show, you know what I mean? So why not join the club and the party and share a little bit of what I am going through because this might be relatable to you. Okay, so top mommy vlogger that I look forward to getting an update when she posts is Allie Scott. Hello, Allie. She is a mom of two in Colorado and she just has this really chill, demeanor to herself. It's not a lot of like showy um, editing or anything like that. She's really, really good at um, just keeping it real and also really good at talking to the camera when she's like with her kids on their side and she's like not neglecting them at all. She literally sits there and lets them play with their toys or lets them be a part of her videos. I think the first video I saw is um, what I packed in my hospital bag. She has a really good video of that. And I took a lot of what I heard from her video, implemented it into my hospital bag. But the biggest thing I remember that she said was, do it now. Like, don't wait until you're like 36 weeks pregnant. Do it as soon as you possibly can. Because the story when she says that she had her husband basically on the phone when her doctor said, hey, you're having a baby today. Let's see you in the hospital in one hour or something like that. She was on the phone telling him what to pack. If Philip and I had that story, um, I don't know <laughs> if we would have fond memories of our birthing story and our birthing day because I thought, I literally wrote it down. I was like, do not have Philip on the phone in the apartment by himself packing. Because like, if Philip forgets his contact lenses, I mean, nothing matters like he just like will have a meltdown understandably because like he can't the man can't see without his contacts but he always seems to forget his contact solution and then he'll ask me where it is and usually like we're on a vacation at 9 p.m somewhere in the woods and like there's no cvs less than an hour away and still open at nine o'clock and then the poor guy is like having to use mountain water to hopefully not ruin his contacts for the next four days that we're there I didn't want that to happen on our birthday, even if it was like last minute or emergency or scheduled, I was like, we're going to pack this hospital bag now. Also, I had a lot of time. I was in an isolated pregnancy. I was at home, literally twiddling my fingers and my toes. And I was like, this is something that I can do now because there's so many other things that I didn't know yet if I had to make decisions on. So I really, really enjoyed Allie Scott's what to put in my hospital bag and all of her day in the life stories. It was really nice to see that she had a small house feeling. Um, all of her videos, I mean, to me, I just love her living room and the bookshelf that she has um, and the dresser that she has in her living room with all the holes in it. You'll see it, go check it out. Her house is beautiful, her aesthetic is wonderful. And um, I just really felt like I could relate to the small condo that I have when I was nesting as well as purging and reinventing how to utilize my space when getting ready for a baby. So thank you, Allie. I always look forward to your videos and I will see you on the next one. The second mommy vlogger that I am in love with and I love listening to her and I could listen to her all the live long day because her videos are sometimes an hour long. Soul Tribe Mama.
Jessica Porter, you could be your own journalist and you basically are because you have a mommy blog, like you figured it out that you're really good at this. All of her videos, you guys, is literally a like a even energy, chill energy, but also intellectually friendly like podcast, but vodcast because you're listening to her speak about her must haves, what she learned. Also, she's a mom of three, so she really knows what she's talking about. Um, what things changed. Um, I remember listening to her video about mastitis and I was able to learn about what that was in a breastfeeding journey. Should I possibly get that once I was starting to breastfeed or attempting to? Um, Jessica Porter's videos, Soul Tribe Mama, are amazing. And again, like her energy is just something I can listen to all day. And I don't even have a boy, but her little H&M shopping hauls for her baby boy is just like yes like I watch that too because like I just love her voice and I love watching her and I can listen to her when I'm in the kitchen you know cleaning or um wanting to have like something just to listen to in the background because she's so clear and concise and her sound is really good and it's not distracting she really really gets to the point of what she's trying to accomplish in her video for you, a mama. The next YouTube blogger I wanna talk about that helped me during my uh, pregnancy in isolation, especially even more so, cause that's where I just reached out to. I was reaching out to anybody being in my living room, hanging out with me, giving me some sound advice, was a registered nurse. She is a registered nurse. Her name is Sarah LaVon, okay? Take all the women I've talked about before with their chill energy and whatnot, and just basically, amp it up full throttle and you will get excited energy, full full speed ahead, fun, talking to you with these beautiful big eyes. Sarah LaVon is also hilarious, but also extremely well-educated and makes you feel like you can understand the possibilities of giving birth, in birth, positions of birth, pregnancy, why things hurt, why you have, get, like everything, everything. She talks about everything in a very, very like quick pace, fun, and also entertaining, makes me giggle, is Sarah LaVon. So go check her out. But honestly, like she has this really great boisterous voice. So if you're ready for, to like wake up with like have a cup of coffee through a YouTube video, Sarah's your girl. And another YouTube channel that I basically use every day as much as I can, because it is a fitness postpartum and pregnant fitness channel is Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Jessica, thank you so much for all of your different, um, just creative, diverse, different like lengths of time, workouts, stretches, yoga, mental health, all of these amazing thoughtful things that you do in your videos when it comes to wanting just to get a little bit of a stretch or a little bit of sweat and a little bit of like mental mindfulness. Pregnancy and Postpartum TV is something that I totally recommend. Her channel is so thoughtful and I am so grateful that I was, during my pregnancy, I was unable to go to like yoga moms or like let's go work out and do a salsa with like a little bit of like pregnancy bumps and stuff. Like I couldn't do any of that. And so this really, really was something I looked forward to because if I had 20 minutes here or 40 minutes there, I was able to really, really take this class with um, undivided attention and really looked forward to it. And then after Mercedes was born, I was able to use her postpartum stuff, especially with my scheduled C-section and a little bit of diastasis recti. I think that's how you say it. She says it a lot because she had a huge personal uh, journey with that. Um, a lot of the stuff, every time I researched just like on YouTube, like C-section, recovery, Pilates or yoga um, or stretching, pregnancy and postpartum TV always came up first, Jess, like you're nailing it. And they were all fantastic. Again, not sure, you know, first time working mom, like, I don't know how long my baby's going to sleep. Let's just like hope I can do it with her watching me or with her sleeping. And so like, there was always this, you know, all day juggle, spinning all these plates, trying to figure out like how to have a schedule again with, with the newborn. Jessica's pregnancy and postpartum TV really got me going. And I'm really, really grateful. She's also great on Instagram. Check her out. And then the last mom I want to brag about that I really, really enjoyed her Spectra review, the Spectra pump, like the blue one, which I think is the cordless one versus the pink one that's the attached to the wall one, is Sina Explains It All. That girl is 
hilarious. She's sassy, she's fun. I mean, I just enjoyed a lot of her reviews and whatnot. And when I was pregnant, she wasn't, there were only like a few videos that she had posted. And now that I'm, now at the time when I'm recording this video, my notes were to say, I wish Sina you would post more, but girl, you did. I was so excited to see your postpartum self-care day. I totally relate to that. I totally just had one myself, but I didn't videotape it. And then I stubbed my toe by the pool and then I like had regrets for spending 30 minutes to myself. I was just like, really, really? Your video looked like you had a better time than I did. So that's my video, it's super quick. These are just like my high recommendations, but also more as a thank you video for all these women, all of these people, these teams, everyone that was a part of these channels. If you're thinking about sharing your thoughts and sharing your journey as mom, do it, let me know, share it with me too, comment below or, or, or if you have a recommendation of your favorite like top five uh, bloggers on channels, share the wealth, share the information and comment below because it's really important that we just keep sharing and being there for each other even if it's just virtual on YouTube.